Hello, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, May. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself, and of course, vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to uh, jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamp. So if you check in the description bar below, you see where it says start reading. Just click on that. It will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. Okay, so this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle. As I always say, uh, please just take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, but it pick up on your story, stick around and sometimes, you know, sometimes there could be just messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, like I always say, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just take these in and I'll be back. So Taurus, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so let's start your reading. And bear with me, guys, because this is an interesting read um, for me. So I'm going to see if I can get it out in the way that I am intending for it to get out or come out. Um, all right, so it seems like there's some... Oh, so we're touching on the past to start with. It seems like there is some... Maybe you're both highly attractive or the dynamic between the both of you makes sense. It kind of looks good from the outside in some way. Maybe you guys are partner enough or there's a, there's a beneficial element to why you both should partner up in some way. And when I say beneficial, meaning uh, maybe it benefits your career in some way or something like that. It's that type of thing. I feel like the, the, okay, let's start with this person. So this person saw, we've got the high priestess and this is just how they're thinking about you. So there's definitely meaning to this um, or their intuition. I'm going to clarify that. I want to clarify that before I run down that train. There we go. I've got 10 of pentacles. There we go. So they're into it. There's an there's a intu intuitive knowing about why this would work out with the 10 of pentacles where you both get it, what it is that you want. I'm not sure what this person or how this person benefits from this because it seems like they're the one that is giving or providing something could be a financial element with the six of pentacles uh, but it doesn't have to be but there's definitely them providing something so i'm not sure how they benefit for now but it, it was something that you had to think about something that you had to really really digest really think about is this something that's beneficial for me is this the right thing to do um, can I actually go through with this? Maybe what, what would people think? What would people say? So definitely something you had to think about, but you made the decision anyway. It's like the decision had been made. You made that decision, which brings us to where we are at the moment. So like I said, this person showing up as the, the emperor. So they could be a director or someone that is, you know, uh, they hold some form of leadership position within their career. Uh, or just within their character. There's a leadership or dominant type of energy around this person, maybe because they might even just simply know more. Um, and you're kind of moving along and going along, showing up as the free. It's like, okay, I've made the decision and now I'm taking the steps or I'm waiting for something to happen or waiting for the repercussions of the decision to come in, whether that's a financial benefit or a financial element to this, but it's, it's, it's that. I feel like it's definitely finances because what's on your mind is something that's going to build something for you. It's something that's going to help you achieve something. And again, I feel like 
for a lot of you, it has to do with your finances. There's a financial benefit to this dynamic in some way. And it really reinsures, and I'm going to pull that one second. Yeah, we've got the Four of Cups, which talks about, again, it's like there's still you. They, it's like you've made the decision, but there's still, of course, elements of that decision that's causing you to not be comfortable, too comfortable. And I feel like it's a, around the fact that, yes, I might have. financial stability yes I might have xyz within my career but I, d I won't have because this is your challenge is the king of cups I won't there won't be that emotional uh, that, that emotional stability there that that emotional reliability that um the king of cups represents you know maturity stable house uh, uh, a husband who's the rock for their families that type of thing you know they provide they give they're loving um, you that's your challenge and I'm not sure whether that's coming from a place of you not being able to get into that place because for you this decision was only about a material thing I'm no judgment here but it was only about maybe your career or finances there was not an element of there wasn't it wasn't heavily relying on the emotional aspect of of this dynamic not to say there isn't any there but um definitely not pr prominent in in this setup then we've got the star card uh, with your person with your person with your person they're focusing on this transformation so like i said i feel like this person is in a position to offer you and provide you the something um as we spoke about so they kind of focus in on that it's, it's something around transformation the death of something and the birthing of something else transformation now of course it might be obvious that you know you're going to transform in some way or your life's going to transform or some element of your life is going to transform in some way and we've got that opportunity to build something so we've got coins i definitely feel like it's a financial situation here and that's what they're focusing on that their challenge is is being able to provide that ten of pentacles and that ten of pentacles you've got loads of pentacles here um then that ten of pentacles it's more about the type of, I feel like this is the type of commitment that it's going to have. So, for instance, yes, this person is able to offer you this, 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 but they're not able to maybe um, share certain aspects of their life with you. Maybe move in together or um, get married, have kids, that type of thing they're able to provide that financial benefit but not you know the uh that foundation that you're wanting because you're actually starting to be and not say you wasn't but this is what, what you're wanting you're wanting to be cautious it's like you're wanting to slow things down you're not wanting to rush this process you're wanting to slow things down because you're thinking about that foundation it's like i want a foundation i feel like this you're wanting more, but yeah. And I'm not sure whether you're wanting it from this person, but they're not able to give it to you at the moment for some reason, or you're just entering into this type of dynamic because of a benefit. Like I said, this person is very, it's like they're very strategic and not in a bad way, but they just, plan and being con they're conscious of how they move and how things are moving and moving parts and that and that type of thing um long-term setup as well yeah but it's like they're they're the ones that are putting the plan into place they're planning all of this and they've maybe offered you something and you're like you know you've had to take a while to think about it and now you've made a decision and you're on that process but there's something that you're not getting from this which is you know causing you to want to just kind of take it take it slower take it slower a bit because you're wanting that foundation you're wanting that foundation so let's move it let's continue this in part two of the reading see where this moves to uh should be showing up on the screen as we speak guys so click on that um other than that i shall see you next week